Hi everyone, welcome back into the channel. I'm Callie and today we're going to be playing another episode of Mass Effect 2. I have been loving my time in Mass Effect 2 so far. We have had a very intense first couple of episodes in here. The first one probably being the most intense. Second one was very nostalgic. We got a Normandy 2.0. We've got Joker back and Dr. Chakwas, and we even ran into Tally. I'm looking forward to hopefully running into some more crew members. I think that right off the bat, we're going to go ahead and visit the Normandy crash site. If I was in Irish Shepherd's shoes and I had just been brought back to life after not being there for two years I think that I would have to go and have some sort of moment to myself at the Normandy crash site and they said that they want to cut the ribbon and everything with us there and kind of commemorate some of the people that we had lost in the very first episode so I think that that will be our very first stop today after that, I'm thinking maybe we'll head to the Citadel and then go on to get our crew member on Omega, or we could flip-flop those. It's just kind of depending on how I feel at the moment. I'm going to read through the quest log again, and I'm kind of just going to let my heart decide. I did write down like a ton of notes on what everyone suggested that I should do first, but... I think I'm gonna close the book on this one and just kind of do what my heart decides. I know a lot of you guys put some amazing comments and tips in there and thank you so much for sharing all the tips and tricks in here. I think as long as we're following this path that feels good to me, I'm gonna keep going for it. That's what I did in Mass Effect 1 and everyone really seemed to, everyone for the most part, seemed to really enjoy my ride and kind of seeing what I was gonna do through my eyes as a first time player and a completely blind playthrough in here. So I think I'm gonna kind of stick with this play where wherever Ira Shepard feels like she should go in that time. And that's how I played in the first Mass Effect. And I really, really enjoyed my time in that one. So if the storyline is as intense and good as it has been so far, I think we're in for a really awesome ride. So I hope you guys have been enjoying the playthrough so far. Thank you so much for all the love to these videos. Welcome into all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for letting me hit 3K. I am just like mind blown at how amazing this Mass Effect community has been over here on this channel. So thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart for all the love to these videos. And I'm really glad that you're enjoying your time as much as I have been in this game. So without further ado, let's get in there. Okay, so we ended in our quarters, which apparently I missed like a secret room. So, I'm gonna look for this. Oh, I'm gonna look for this secret room that you guys are talking about. There's Edie. Is it here? Oh, the bathroom. I can use the toilet. Interesting. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so we can just flush it. <gasps> oh, look, we can see our reflection now. I don't think we could see our reflection in Mass Effect 1. I'm pretty sure that we couldn't. It's the little things. It's definitely the little things. Does this do anything? Someone said that I could actually like collect fish and put them in my fish tank. I don't know how accurate that is, but if that's true, I am very excited <laughs> about that. I also um, had a bunch of comments about the helmet and how it was kind of like breaking some people's immersion. So I love the helmet and I love what it does, but if we really can't take it off during some of our cutscenes with us talking and stuff, I don't think I'm going to keep it on. So it's unfortunate because it does do extra weapon damage by 5%, which is actually a pretty decent increase. And it looks, re it looks really cool too. But um, I just, I don't like having it on when I'm talking to people. It kind of like ruins my immersion. And in such a dialogue heavy game, I think I'm just going to turn it off because I miss seeing our shepherd's face and the purple armor makes our eyes really pop. So <laughs> I think I'm gonna turn it off. It's unfortunate that they don't give you like an option. They don't give you an option to like turn it off in just dialogue. I think that's really silly. So I'm gonna just keep it off. 
Also, that was kind of bugging me. Like the random red, it was not great looking. I wish they could turn it like a dark color, just not maroon. The purple actually doesn't look bad. I think the purple looks better than that gray. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and look at our quest log. Oh, we have a codex. What's new on here? Cerberus Project Overlord. Planet Aid. Two beautiful moons, one spectacular ring, zero neighbors. This is a popular advertisement for this Terminus Systems world. Aid is known for its sparsely settled population despite being a garden planet with a colony nearly a century old. Blessed with a mild kylant, uh, climate, wildlife no more dangerous than that on Earth, and soil and bacterial amenable to imported plants, Aid would appear to be an unexplored paradise. However, it is unpopular for two reasons. The first and most obvious is that its moon, Lete, is an unstable orbit that will lead to a planetary impact and an extinction level event within the next two centuries. That's not far away. As such, all investment in the planet is short term and the biggest business is selling off the local biota to the highest bidder. The second drawback is the level of violence on the planet. Like the rest of the Phoenix massing cluster, Aeet was briefly considered part of Citadel space during its first wave of colonization. However, when the colony broke off to become an independent planet in 2133, the council let the doomed planet go with less than a day of debate. Free from any real governing body, Aeet's history has since been filled with wars between small frontier towns, city-states, over its resources. The result is a dangerous world where the average citizen is expected to be self-reliant to the point of fending for themselves against cutthroat corporations, strong-arm militia groups, and even geth incursions. The fighting is so frequent that the name of the planet itself has changed more than 11 times. Jeez. In a sign of blunt indifference, standard Citadel galaxy maps refer to the world by the name given to it by human colonists in the latter half of the century. Okay. So yeah, I think the first thing that I'm gonna do is this Normandy crash site. So let's go ahead and travel over to Aldecara, which is Amada Omega Nebula, and explore the crash site of the SSV Normandy. I think that's the very first thing that I would want to do in Ira Shepherd's shoes. We need to go. We need to go look at our the wreckage of our original SSV. They've asked that a monument be placed on the site. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go here first. Akira Amada Omega Nebula. That's a lot of names. We haven't even looked at the star map yet. I'm interested to see what it looks like. So, Combat Information Center, select. I'm still getting used to our new ship. It's so, like, has that new car smell. <laughs> it has a new car smell. No new messages. Okay. Whoa, this looks wildly different. Fuel Depot, Omega-4 Relay, Mass Relay. Wow, this is cool. <gasps> Whoa, I'm actually like flying the Normandy. <gasps> this is cool. It's like an interactive little map. <laughs> this is really cool. Okay, so we're gonna go to Amada. We do not have enough fuel to travel any significant distance. What? Okay, so we have to purchase fuel now. Buy probes, buy fuel. Wow. We have to fuel up now. That's really cool. I don't know what probes are. I just got them just in case. I don't know. Omega Nebula. So, are we flying again? Okay, so there's the Mass Relay, Omega, Recruit, Archangel, Professor, and Veteran. Here's the crash site over here. Look, we're like using fuel. 
We need to be careful. Okay, enter system. Explore Normandy crash site. Anomaly detected. Alkira. Alkira's crust is composed of carbon water, ice. While low density, its large size allows it to retain a thick atmosphere of methane and ammonia. It is believed that if Alkira had acquired a bit more mass when the Amata star system formed, it would have formed the core of a second outer system gas giant. Alkira has three moons. Urua, Wan. Oh god, I'm gonna butcher those. It has three moons. <laughs> That's all we need to know. Start scanner. What is this? Scan. Anomaly detected. Oh, we launch probe. Probe launched. In research projects, platinum is used to upgrade sniper rifles, shotguns, and medical equipment. Wow. Follow the white indicator on the. Oh god. Okay. The white indicator. Probe. In research projects, palladium is used to upgrade heavy pistols, armor, and cybernetics. Okay. How many probes should we be launching? Launching. Scanner results. Good. Probe away. Probe away. So what, it didn't find anything over there. This is a very interesting way to scan the planet. It's pretty cool because it's much more interactive than like pressing the scan anomaly or however it was worded in Mass Effect 1. And then it would just like tell you like, <laughs> we went out and we found something. This is actually pretty cool. I still don't understand. Launched. In research projects, iridium is used to upgrade heavy weapons, submachine guns, and assault rifles. Cool. Okay, so iridium is used for assault rifles. That's good. That's good to know. And I kind of see like it's scanning over there. I see it now. Okay, cool. Launching probe. You can now collect chitin armor. Ooh, research project. Cool. Okay, so do we keep doing this? Like, follow the white indicator on the reticule to find the anomaly. Like, I'm supposed to be following the arrow? Oh, here. Launching probe. I have found something. Okay, that's how I do it. All right, I think we just wasted some probes. It's okay. It's our very first time using this. Anomaly detected. Scans confirm the wreckage of SSV Normandy on the planet's surface. No life signs or mechanical activity detect detected. Stable landing zone located amid the crash site. All right, so we can land. Interesting. That's a really cool way to find out where you can land and what and ways to improve your weapons. That's actually really neat. really eerie locate a suitable place for the normandy monument and recover any sign of the of the lost crew oh this is a really bad wreckage i mean if you think about it we were technically like 
in space when it crashed, so it must have been a really hard landing. I found a dog tag. I saw a dog tag. Collect. Oh, over here. Okay. Oh, here's one of the 20. Aww. Collect the dog tags of the fallen crew to return to the family. Oh, this is so sad. What are these things over here? They're like crates. Find element zero. Use for biotic and tech power. Nice. Dog tag. Does it tell me on my map where to find things? No, we can't open a map here. That's silly. Really? Okay. We just have to look. Here's another one. I think that's number three. Yeah, three of 20. Press F to place the monument. Uh, I kind of want to find like the main hull if, if I can't. A ghost? Um, why did they do that? Now they're just trying to make me cry. What the heck? Why would they do that? Why just flash Caden's face? That's so mean. Game, why? Oh, it's because... <laughs> it's because it's the place where he normally stood. Like right next to the lunch area with the tape. Oh my God, that is so mean. Wow, it's messed up. All right, I don't want to place the monument here. I'd rather place it somewhere by like either the star map area, if there's even like any area like that, or by that Normandy. You know. This is so eerie. Gosh, that hurt my heart. Oh, the Mako. Oh my gosh. This is hard. All right, six of 20. Turning down here. I don't think I can go down there. Man, there's a dog tag all the way out here. This is like some creepy, like spooky music too going on out here. Hmm, I think this might be like part of the, oh no, this was the part where like the pods, like the sleeping pods and stuff. Oh. Or the escape pods, I think they were actually called. I don't think they were sleeping pods, were they? Oh, Orden. It actually says the name of them. His name was Robert Paulson. His name was Robert Paulson. Oh, the make. <laughs> I wonder if we get another like driving vehicle. There's a dog tag. Silas Crosby. There's another container over there. Really, there's nothing by the Mako? Okay. It's like we have to have a flashback of our favorite vomit inducing vehicle. <laughs> We could place the monument next to the Mako. We did have a lot of good adventures in there, but if I can, I want to place it by the by the Normandy sign. Barrett German. I don't remember like most of these names. Can I jump in this game? 
no. Amino Wobbery. Some more element zero. Where have I been? Something shiny over there. Have we not gone over there yet? I know there's also like a another box and stuff over this way too. Oh, that's the main like cockpit area. All right, we'll go there after I pick up stuff around here. Oh, this is so eerie. I wish we could have brought someone with us. It's kind of lonely out here. Like maybe Tally. At least like maybe Joker. I don't know. Carlton Tuck. There's another one over there. I don't think I can get up any other way. Does that say SOS on it? Or maybe 505, I don't know. It just looks like SOS. Can I get close to it? This is so eerie. An N7 helmet? How do I get up there? Something else over here. Another dog tag. RV. It's the command center. I found it. Man, I can still see me like walking through it in that very first episode. And like, just the like feeling of absolute shock that the Normandy was like in the state that it was in. Uh, data pad. Spoke to the commander about this. All these damned aliens around the Alliance's most advanced ship, I don't trust them. Especially that Asari and Quarian. What does Shepard think this is, a zoo? Mm. I feel like I know who wrote this. Yep, Presley. <laughs> it says Journal Navigator Presley. No offense, but he kind of irked me. So this doesn't really make me feel bad. With the Quarian, it seems she's on some kind of pilgrimage, trying to improve the lot of her home ship. I can understand that. I would babysit my children or anything, but if she had to be on board, I suppose that's not too bad. Oh, is he coming round to the thought of having Tally around? For a while now, I'm starting to look back at the past entries. How blind I was at the time. I came on the ship firmly believing humanity was on its own in the galaxy. Shepard brought all these aliens on board and there's no way we could have accomplished what we did without them. Stop, no. <laughs> No, Presley. I'm proud to say that for, I'm proud to say I die for any crew member of this crew, regardless of what they were world they were born on. Stop. Oh, that was so sad. Wow. I'm glad that he came around because like he honestly really pissed me off with how he was talking about everyone. And like, I really never let that go. Damn, I've just started and I'm already ruining my makeup. 
I knew that coming here was going to be hard. I didn't think that it was going to be like this, though. They really know how to pull at my card strings. Holy. Um, we could place the monument here, but I kind of want to place it by the Normandy sign. Like, way over there. So I'm going to wait. There was a helmet, like, over here, I think. Gosh. Shepard's lost N7 helmet. <gasps> oh, I wonder if there's like a replica. I wonder if they still like make merchant. They have to make merchandise for Mass Effect, don't they? I wonder how much like a N7 helmet would be. I really want it in my stream room. How did I get up here? I think down this way. Okay, I think we have on like seven tags so far. I'm not, I can't remember which way we came from. I know we went over there. Um, let's see if we find anything shiny. something over here. Rosamond Driven. Yeah, I want to place it like here. Oh, no. These flashbacks, man. All right, let's place. I'm scared if I place the monument, it'll make us leave. Hopefully it doesn't. <gasps> Look at it. Oh, it's beautiful. The journal is updated. I think this is the best place for this monument. Eighteen of twenty. So we only have two more to find, really. Where could those other two be? I'm trying to think. Where did we not explore yet? Oh. Let's see. Can't get over that way. I think it's silly that we can't, like, jump. <laughs> we should be able to jump. Let's look over here. I know we went over to the Mako. And I know we went over this way. Somehow we're missing two tags. I need to look around a bit. Okay, we just came from that way. I'm just going to do another sweep real quick. Maybe I missed something in here. Oh, I can't go in there. Okay, maybe I didn't miss anything in here. around here that's just light shining through i kind of like that it landed in like a frozen ish area planet because it just feels like it's like preserved and it's silent and it's peaceful here i don't know like if it would have landed in a place like vermeer or something like it would have felt different than it does here but I don't know. I think that this was one of the best places. Like, the snow is falling. You know that it's quiet here and peaceful. And I just feel like this was a really good resting place for everything. Maybe it's up here. I didn't actually go in here, did I? No, I did. 
Okay, we have one more tag somewhere. Did we go in here? <gasps> I don't think we went in here. No, we didn't. Is it going to give us a Joker flashback? Oh, I'm glad that Joker survived. All right, that was our last dog tag. Let's go. 20 of 20. I think we're pretty much done here. R.I.P. Normandy. OG. Thank you for serving us in our amazing time in the ME1. You will not be forgotten. So I think for our very first mission, I am being torn. Like, I want to go listen to the elusive man and go pick up our scientist first and go see how we can go about getting our first people for our team started, um, who I think was the professor, right? Yeah, Dr. Morden Solis, biologic weapons expert. Yeah, so he's currently operating a medical clinic in the slums of Omega. Sounds like a, a great place to go. Um, so the elusive man wants us to go get this professor first. He was kind of very adamant, and so was Miranda, about picking up the professor right off the bat. He's a great person to have on our team, and it also unlocks some stuff on our ship, which is very, very important. But my first instinct as Irish Shepherd was I want to go see the Normandy I want to go see what happened we've been gone for two years we also got a message from Captain Anderson telling us that we need to go speak for ourselves and clear up some of the stuff that's been going on about us and there's some rumors that we need to talk about he wants to know if the rumor of us being alive is true so my first like heartstring is like i need to go to the council i need to go see uh anderson because it's someone that we've known and that we trusted and we kind of left off mass effect one with so first things first i'm gonna go to the citadel i want to see what's going on there i want to see how it's changed when we left the citadel it was in absolute shambles it was literally on fire when we left so my first place that I want to go see is the Citadel. I have to go see what's going on there. And even if we don't do everything there, I at least want to meet Anderson and maybe pick up some stuff for our crew if I can find them. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, and head to the Citadel now. I think that we should go see what's going on there. Hi, Normandy. I don't know why in my mind I was kind of thinking that the Normandy like resting place would have been of more like monumentous like there would be more people there or people coming to like celebrate the loss of this crew and our ship and everything but it was kind of like a very personal experience which I enjoyed I thought it was very nice it was very sad <laughs> But it was, it was also very nice. A monument has been placed at the last resting place of the SSV Normandy on Alkira. The families of all of the missing crew members have been notified of their ultimate sacrifice. Shepard's lost N7 helmet was recovered. We got some experience, some credits, and some element zero. Very nice. Okay. So... How do I get out of here? Do I head back this way? Unexplored? Father? Unexplored? I don't know what these are. I kind of want to see what this is. Anjea is a typical ammonia methane ice giant. Okay, so it's like seeing different things in the system like we did in ME1. Okay. Traces of chlorine in the atmosphere give it a distinct green tint. Penetrating scans have revealed large numbers of hollow, unpowered objects from the dimensions of 3.14 by 12.56. 
by 28.26 meters, circulating in the equatorial cloud bands. These objects appear to have sails or wings attached, allowing them to be borne aloft by Anjaya's winds. While they are too deep to be reached for study, popular conjecture in xenoarchaeology circles holds that they are coffins of an ancient race who laid their dead to rest in the gas giant. Strange place for coffins. All right. Let me see if I figured this out. Nothing over there, I don't think. It says moderate. It was a little bit strong here. Probe launched. Yep, found some iridium. Nice. Ooh. Probe launched. I wonder what platinum's good for. Launching probe. Probe. This is very interesting. <laughs> like, I don't know if I should keep doing it or if I'm wasting probes or like, I don't know. That's the Launching last one I'm going to use. Because I honestly don't even know how expensive they are. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get out of here. All right, so that's Anjaya. There was also this one over here. Enagana is a hot, beautiful, and deadly world covered with debris of ancient starships. Approximately 127k years ago, a series of battles were fought over it by two organic species, the Thoihan and Anusanan. Although no records of the conflict remain, most historians agree that both races wanted to colonize Engana and neither were willing to share. The two lost hundreds of ships in a series of battles over Angana and its moon, Borea. Many of these were eventually pulled in by the planet's gravity well. The mass effect drive cores of these ships broke apart, dumping refined element zero over large stretches of landscape. This poisoned the environment and a wave of extinctions followed. Many of the animal species that remained showed a tendency to develop biotic powers. As the ecology of Ingana is energetic and aggressive, this makes colonization a deadly peril. Dang. So I see that the scanner results here are good compared to the last place where it was medium. So I'm guessing maybe I'll save my probes for good places. Launching probe. In research projects, Element Zero is used for bioamp and Omni tool upgrades, which allow squad members who have biotic and tech powers to be much more effective. Ooh, nice. So that's a really good thing to find. I have two probes left. Probe launched. Platinum and Element Zero. That was our last probe. Cool. I wonder what happens when they fill up all the way. I don't see. All right, what's this one? I think this is leaving the system, maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So that's how we get out. Um, We need fuel. <laughs> We, we need fuel and I'm not really sure where to get it. I'm a little bit nervous now. Um, what happens if we run out of fuel? I actually don't remember where we came from. Well, hopefully there's fuel in here. Okay, so this is where we came from. Nice. So there is a fuel depot over here. Let's fill up again. 
So it's these are my credits. Okay. And then probes. Probes aren't that expensive, actually. They're not that bad. Okay. So let's go to the mass relay plot mass relay jump i'm trying to remember where to find the citadel investigate project overlord omega recruit recruit master thief oh here's the citadel okay so let's enter that system This is really cool. It's very like interactive. I feel like I'm flying a little bit more, which is nice. It's not so like, go here, go there. You're already there. Good job. <laughs> like we're actually doing stuff. All right, so let's enter the Citadel. Supposedly constructed by the long extinct Protheans, this colossal deep space station serves as the capital of the Citadel Council. Gravity is simulated through rotation and is a comfortable 1.02 standard G's on the wards and a light 0.3 standard G's on the Presidium ring. All right, let's talk. Looks like maybe it was returned to its former glory. Doesn't it looks the same? Okay, so we can bring people with us. How many can we bring? Add Miranda and Jacob, since those are only two right now. Change squad weapon loadout? No, I think I'm good. Fancy. What is that? Our Porsche? God, they're gonna hate Commander us. Commander Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. A free gift. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Silence is golden. Oh, this is the lady that we were supposed to pick up. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Have you been briefed? Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. Why the secrecy? What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. Hmm. Are you sure? What makes you so sure? There's a certain aura about you. Like you've seen things no one else has. Even without knowing what you looked like, I knew it was you. Okay. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version? They were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. What deal? I assume this deal is something I should know about. Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. Is that her? Walking around? Who's Donovan Hawk? What do you know about Donovan Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer, generally not a great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack, but I have a way in, and I think you're gonna love it. Hmm, are you expecting trouble? 
I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. Mm. What about this gray box? I assume a gray box is some kind of hardware. It's a neural implant. Illegal in most places. Stores memories, thoughts, secret codes, illicit information. This one in particular belonged to my partner, Keiji Okuda. We worked together for a long time before Hawk killed him. Hmm. What's this heist you're planning? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. Evening wear? What about Kasumi's partner? Tell me about this former partner of yours. His name was Keiji Okuda. The best hacker and entry man I've ever known. Unfortunately, he slipped up and made himself infamous. He stole something he shouldn't. He warned me it was bad. Something that could spark interstellar war if it got out. That information... got him killed. Mm, what did the information say? What could he have found that's so bad? He wouldn't say what it was, just that it was dangerous. He said if it got out, humanity would be in trouble. He encrypted it, wrapped it up in his own memories. To decode the information, you have to sift through all the time we spent together. Now those memories are all that's left of him. Well, I see why you want it. I can understand why you'd want to get it back. Getting it back will be easier with your help, Shepard. Okay, I think I've asked her everything that I should. I kind of hate that this is given to us like right off the bat. <laughs> I wanted to take in the sights and the smells and the sounds of the Citadel. And like, I was immediately just like squirrel to this like Kasumi character that I had no plans to start yet, but that's okay. Um, all right, we'll take care of it. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. Okay. Well, looks like we already got one of our crew members by accident. <laughs> I wanted to claim my crew my free gift. Travel to Beckenstein and attend the party of the notorious arms dealer. I'm not gonna lie, it sounds kind of fun, but does not sound like something that I saw former Shepard being a part of. Um so very interesting very interesting we did have a codex pull up the master thief kasami's secrets um a mnemonic neural recall simulator also known as a gray box is a device implanted in the brain to assist and prioritize memory originally developed to slow the progression of alzheimer's disease gray boxes function by helping the amygdala chunk coming uh, incoming stimuli into recognizable pieces for memory consolidation. Crazy. Each memory is assigned a shape or a sensation from other memories, tying to the conceptions together, tying the concepts together into a block that is more easily recalled. While synthetic insights first released them into the market in 2140, gray boxes were hailed out as a way humans could level the playing field between themselves and the Solarians whose natural um, edict memories gave them an advantage. However, because of the implant procedure of the gray box requires the brain to irrever irreversibly shift its workload over to the machine, software bugs or attempt removal of the gray box for maintenance purposes could lead to incapacitating the brain damage. For this reason, gray boxes soon became only used by those with a dire need for photographic memories, such as researchers and spies. I actually have a photographic memory. <laughs> That's really interesting. Wow, they used it originally to get rid of Alzheimer's. Or slow the progression of it, I think is. Yeah, slow the progression. In 2175, sale and implementation of gray boxes were outlawed by the Systems Alliance following an incident with Abraham Ramoy, an employee of the Alliance's intelligence agency. Ramoy was believed to be a professional con man and thief named Kenji Akuda, who accessed and sold classified data. However, prosecuting attorneys were unable to use his assisted memories as evidence due to the Alliance court system's prohibition against self-incrimination. 
based on the Fifth Amendment of the old U.S. Constitution. Dang. Rumoy soon disappeared off the map following his trial, further heightening suspicions that he was Akuda and living off of an ill-gotten gains. When found out, um, when found outside a human head, gray boxes are usually accessed with a specialized reader. A separate decryption key is almost always required, as users with data sensitive enough to require a gray box invariably install their own encryption. Wow. Planet Beckenstein. More glittering than diamonds, more expensive than surgery, is how travel agents describe this planet's behind closed doors. Given the opportunity to colonize planets after the first contact war, the Systems Alliance chose Beckenstein, or Beckenstein probably, to be their trading arm, producing goods to be sold on the nearby citadel. Cracking the vast galactic marketplace proved difficult. The first human product sold on novelty alone, then lack of demand hit Birkenstein's economy hard. Only in the second generation of colonists did the planet find a sustainable niche in high quality entertainment and luxury goods. Once brand awareness sunk in, aliens flocked to Birkenstein's ma many spaceports. The planet today boasts more millionaires and billionaires per capita than any other human colony. Dang. Though its crime tends to be white collar and non-violent, Birkenstein is not without its dark side. Both its suicide rate and inflation are extremely high compared to other worlds. Unemployment is artificially low because people immigrate to the expensive planet without having a job lined up, and the cost of living is so great that unemployed workers typically leave for ki uh, kinder planets after just a few months. Those who stay see themselves as, as tougher, sharper, and more skillful than the rest, as well as capable of getting respect and employment on any lesser planet. As a popular song says, if you can't make it on the back, you got him by the neck. Sounds catchy. Wow. Okay. Well, we accidentally picked up Kasumi. Um, so now we have her side quest of traveling, or I guess it's like a main mission, actually. Yeah, this is under main missions. To travel to Beckenstein and get this notorious arms dealer, Donovan Hawk, and steal his gray box. Cool. Well, that was a complete accident, but okay. So where are we right now? I don't recognize this part of the Citadel at all. Zakira Ward? C-Sex Customs. Can I help you, ma'am? Security seems heavy. It's been a couple years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. You'd think a Geth would stand out. Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert, be safe. Okay. Thanks for your time. Next. I honestly don't blame them. This recruits is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight. Every five seconds, the main gun of an Empress class dreadnought accelerates one to 1.3% of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38 kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the city buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. That means Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Now, Serviceman Burnside, what is Newton's first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot. Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn straight! I dare to assume What's you happening? ignorant jackasses <laughs> know that space is empty. Once you fire this hunk of metal, it keeps going till it hits something. That can be a ship, or the planet behind that ship. It might go off into deep space and hit somebody else in 10,000 years. If you pull the trigger on this, you are ruining someone's day, somewhere and sometime. That is why you check your damn targets. That is why you wait for the computer to give you a damn firing solution. That is why, serviceman Chung, we do not eyeball it. This is a weapon of mass destruction. You are not a cowboy shooting from the hip. Sir, yes, sir. Holy heck. <laughs> that was intense. Well, it looks like they kept the keepers around. Do they look more green than normal? All right, we can't go that way. <laughs> That was a great pep talk, though. I'm not going to lie. That was a great pep talk. Galactic news. Two years since the destruction of the Destiny Ascension, planning for the fleet of the new Allied Citadel Defense Unit have reached another impasse. The Asari Republics has ceded its share of defense responsibility to the Turian hierarchy. The Human Alliance maintains a majority share of forces. 
Well, good to see they still got the news going on. All right, let's pick up this, um, whatever this is, Zakira Ward. I have no idea where I'm going. This all looks way different. Obviously, security has tightened since you were last here. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... Uh, dead. Technically, I was. I was listed as missing in action a couple years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. I thought that they did change our... Um... Our... You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not going to tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. Yes, I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. I thought that they fixed it. Didn't we get a message from the bank that said that our... I don't know. Strange. Okay, anyways um identifying me can you fix it and i like it that way you're not worried i'm some imposter claiming to be me we have the best screening equipment in the galaxy those scanners can sample dna from skin flakes hell if you have unregistered gene mods they can even figure those out <laughs> okay can you fix it your sergeant said you could help with that usually you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your ids then to customs and immigration to regain access to the citadel itself and probably a stop by the treasury spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge but i can see you're a busy woman so how about i just press this button right here and we call it done is that legal couldn't one of us or both of us get into trouble for that there's no way to fool the dna scanners in that tunnel you're you why wait in long lines and fill out a mass of useless hard copy paperwork to get to the same place? The council does everything by the book. They've had thousands of years to write it. Sometimes things need to get done without a committee vote. Seems a bit um, irregular, but... Yeah, if they do everything by the book, why aren't you? <laughs> You're not big on formalities, are you? I'm with them right up until they keep people from doing their jobs. There. Mm -hmm. I just saved you about nine days of running around. That said, you should head up to the Presidium and tell them you're still alive. The Council probably wants to talk to the one who got them their jobs. How do I get there from here? What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. Okay. Back through the security. So back the way we came. Screw the Council. Oh. No, that's my plan. That's my plan. <laughs> I will. Having access to the council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. The council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? Hmm, we can ask him a lot of questions. All right, let's start with... Sovereign's attack. It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up. Of course, they fixed that first. All the wards got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial, and the Keepers got things restored fast. Tasery Ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga Concert Hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. Mm. So it's not all fixed. It looks wildly different, though. Um, what's abusing suspects? I overheard your conversation. Oh. Make him scream a little. This isn't a presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speech zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. Down here, we have drugs, organized crime, and murder. Policing a ward is like policing New York City. Sometimes you have to work outside the council's rulebook. How does he even know what that's like, New York City? <laughs> um, okay. I need to talk to the council. How can I get to the Presidium from oh, okay. here? Okay, just asking Head about that again. Head through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. Okay, public shuttle, got it. 
Tell me about this place. All the wards are more or less multicultural, but the other four are dominated by Asari, Turians, or Solarians. In Zakira, we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor, and Hanar. There's also a human commercial zone at Shinakiba. We've got a few Krogan walking around, and I think I saw a Quarian the other day. Last time I was here, there were no human captains in CSEC. No, CSEC took a lot of casualties when the Geth boarded the Presidium. The Special Response Division was hard hit. They stopped turning their noses up at human resumes. They needed bodies in uniform, and we had the most experienced bodies. Oh, okay. I think that's everything. Yeah. Okay. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Nice. All right. So we can look at a map now. Whoa. This looks very strange. Um. Okay. So it's not like interactive at all. Like the other one was. I'm pressing buttons, but nothing's happening. So it looks like we're here. We came from over this way, rapid transit. And there's also another rapid transit like straight ahead. There's a comms terminal, Rodam Expeditions, which looks like it has a money side. Oh, Citadel souvenirs. <laughs> so there's a few like shops and stuff on this one. I think we might just go, uh, just check out this level for now. Hey, look, it's a Avena. Welcome back, Shepard. It has been two years, three months, and 17 days since the Citadel last welcomed you. This is the Zakara Ward Transportation Hub. Public shuttles and shopping are available through the CSEC Security Cordon. The Alliance Embassy has issued a travel advisory for human visitors to the Citadel. Would you like to hear it now? A travel advisory? Let me hear the travel advisory. Due to recent adjustments to the Council, humans may find aliens on the Citadel less friendly than usual. Alliance citizens are advised to limit their time in non-human sectors. Group travel is strongly recommended. If you feel you are being followed or threatened, talk to any nearby CSEC officer, or contact the Embassy through the station network. That stinks. That makes it sound like there are anti-human race riots going on. There have been 26 incidents of large-scale civil disorder aboard the Citadel in the past two years. Dang. Many non-human residents disagree with the Alliance-led restructuring of the Council and wish a return to the status quo. Yeah, it sounds bad. That explains the tension on the station. Yeah. Is the Alliance doing anything to calm the population? Any further information has been deemed inflammatory by the Office of Information Management. Be advised that your inquiry has been forwarded to Citadel Security. If approached by uniformed officers, please cooperate fully. Okay. It looks like this place has recovered from Sovereign's attack. Repair of the damage from the Geth attack is ongoing. There is still extensive damage on Tasery Ward. What about the Reaper? Geth? It was Sovereign who led the attack. Yeah. The Reaper. I have no information on a Reaper. Really? References to the term exist in some parahistorical theories on galactic extinction cycles. What? They've suppressed information about the Reapers. Far easier to blame the Geth, a known enemy. What? But you can't make history incorrect. What the hell? They've suppressed information about the Reapers. What? That's crazy. Why would they do that? I don't even want to talk to you anymore. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. That's a crazy. Day. That's actually like legitimately crazy. Why would they suppress information about the Reapers? They're the ones who did it. They're the ones who attacked the entire Citadel and set up their comm relay. What? What? Okay. Well, that was a mood ruiner oh look it's a cafe all right mood back I hear this is the best place for food on zakara ward can i actually you buy food wrong. here this is the best place for food on the whole damn citadel <laughs> okay um high grade provisions various quality cuisine items oh my gosh this makes me want sushi used to prepare diplomatic diners dinners aboard starships wait 
does this give us our provisions that the chef was asking for? Let's buy it for him. Yes, I would like to buy. Um, extension novel. Written by human author Drew Carpyshine, the popular military historical novel, novel Extensions focuses on several lives warped or destroyed by the human survivalist cult Cerberus. I wonder where I can read these. They're only five credits. I want to read that last one. I want to know what it says. Relevation is a popular military historical novel by human writer Drew Carpyshire Shine that dramatizes human conflicts and political expansions following the 2148 discovery of the Prothean mass relay on Pluto and the beginning of human galactic exploration. I want to buy these. Okay, so it does look like, yep, that was the special ingredients. Nice. Ooh, it's part of the codex. Oh, I wish it was under primary so it could read to us. <laughs> okay, so this extension. Written by human author Drew Carpyshine, the popular military historical novel extension focuses on several lives warped or destroyed by the human survivalist cult Cerberus. Following the Citadel attacks of 2182 and the accelerated rise of human influence in the galaxy, Cerberus instituted Extension, a secret biotics program aimed at producing a superhuman warrior. Biotics prodigy Gillian Grayson, a 12-year-old autistic girl, suffered from the sins of her father, a secret Cerberus, Cerberus operative, and a red sand addict. Paul Grayson was ensnared in a web of criminality involving a Corian traitor and extending to Saren Arterius, the Geth and a terminal threat to the Corian flotilla. Having fled to the Terminus systems with his daughter after exposure of Cerberus's link to extension, Grayson was pursued by Gillian's teacher, scientist Khalid Sanders, initiating a chain of tragedies that demonstrated Cerberus's nearly unlimited power and boundless ambition. Involving a Corian traitor and extending to Saren Arterius, the Geth. And a terminal threat to the Corian flotilla. Wow, crazy how they're like linking all this together. Revelation is a popular military historical novel by human writer Drew Carpyshine. I feel like I'm saying that wrong. <laughs> that dramatizes human conflicts and political expansion following 2148 discovery of the Prothean mass relay on Pluto and the beginning of human galactic exploration. In 2165, years before his rise to political prominence, Lieutenant David Anderson was a young veteran of the Turian War, investigating the destruction of top secret military research station Shanxi. Every scientist stationed at Shanxi had been slaughtered except Kali Sanders, who disappeared with secret files making his Anders her Anderson's prime making her Anderson's prime suspect. The book traced Anderson's dangerous investigation of Sanders, which included run-ins with Blue Sun's mercenary and a Krogan bounty hunter. The investigation uncovered illegal research into AI and forced Anderson into an alliance with human hating Turian Spectre Sarin Arturius, who would eventually enter into a genocidal collaboration with the Geth. So cool how they did like kind of a backstory into Mass Effect 1. That is crazy. How it kind of like linked it all like the before Mass. That's crazy. I'm really glad we found those books. That was really interesting. Wow. All right, I am like wildly lost. There's like so much going on here. <laughs> Visit Dark Star, located on level 28. Okay. Well, I don't want to go like down that way. I want to go ahead and take the shuttle to where they told us to. 
because I feel like that's probably, yeah, the rapid transit. But I just want to check over here real quick. I heard that those lakes up on the Presidio are filled with fish. No, they're not. You ever been up there? No. CSEC won't let me. They say I'm a risk. Uh, they think every Krogan is dangerous. Damn Turians. We should kill them all. Oh my god. Well, it seems as though there's a lot of race stuff going on right now, which is really, really sad to see that that's happening. And I think a lot of it has to do in part with my decision to kill off the council instead of saving them in Mass Effect 1. I think that a lot of that has to do with my decisions that I made there, unfortunately. Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. What an endorsement. Accuser of classism? Since these stores are owned by the council, do government employees get a discount? Yes, in fact. Uh, what's your position? I'm a former specter. My goodness. I didn't know specters quit. I don't believe you qualify for a discount, though. How about if I throw in an endorsement from the woman who defeated Saren? You are Shepard? My goodness. The increase in sales would certainly be worth offering a discount. What do you need me to do? Just voice your endorsement into my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Excellent. I will get my clerical VI to add it to our advertising immediately. What in the actual heck? Welcome back. These stores are owned by the Citadel, right? That's correct. Citadel Souvenirs outlets are owned by the council government. The profits generated by sales are used to maintain the station. We offer an assortment of decorations suitable for display in your personal quarters. Okay. I'd like to buy something. My apologies. I do not make sales. I'm here to answer questions and process returns and exchanges. To make a purchase, browse our electronic catalog over there. Okay. Thanks for your time. Of course, citizen. Well, I guess we get a discount so now, get which is fish or maybe kinda a model cool. ship. How is a model ship supposed to remind me of the Citadel? It's festive and you like ships. I'm an engineer, honey. A I look at ships all space day. Space hamster? What? So wait, these will go into my ship? Ooh, we can buy a fish. It's really not worth it's really not that much money. The space hamster is kind of expensive though, but I really want to get it. <laughs> a small ship model of the Systems Alliance ship Normandy. Oh man. We have to buy all of this. I feel bad wasting my credits. Here, let's get the let's get the fish and the models because they're not that expensive. And we'll come back for the space hamster because he's kind of expensive. This is crazy. This is really cool, but wow. There is like so much going on here. All right, I think that goes up, which I don't want to get lost in here. I really want to just go find before we can like explore more later, but I really want to get up to the council and see Captain Anderson. So these look like the places that we can go. We can return to the Normandy. We can request a new squad member. Um, we can head to the Presidium. A warehouse and a found sort of foundation. Our current location is level seven, 27, sorry. The main entrance landing area of Zagira Ward, which I, th I think is where we came in possibly. Dark Star Lounge. Okay, and then the factory district. So let's go to the Presidium. Shepard! It's Captain Anderson! Welcome back to the ranks of the living. I wasn't sure you got my message. It's good to see you again. It's been a long time, Captain. It's Counselor now. I had to give up my commission when I joined the Council. I'm glad you came. Though I was hoping the rest of the council would be here for this meeting, too. Unfortunately, they rarely listen to me. Sometimes I wonder if Udina would have been the better choice for this. No, you were the right choice. Nobody said this was going to be easy, but I know you. You get things done. 
Thanks for the vote of confidence. But I doubt Udina would echo it. He thinks I need to work on my people skills. Hmm. What's this about? I'm still not clear on why you wanted me to come. There's been a lot of talk since you came back. Some of what I hear has been, frankly, a little disturbing. I wanted to give you a chance to explain your actions. Maybe get the Council to see things from your point of view. But they refuse to see you. You let the previous Council die during Sovereign's attack on the Citadel. They feel you'll always put human interests before galactic concerns. Rumors that you're working with Cerberus haven't helped. What are you doing out there? <sighs> the Alliance abandoned me. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm trying to save humanity. And this also isn't about Cerberus, but mainly I'm trying to save humanity. Cerberus seems to be the only group who cares about our missing colonists. Yeah. I feel for those colonists, Shepard. But they went out to the Terminus systems to get away from the Alliance. We can't protect them, but you can. Or at least you're trying to, and I get the sense there's more going on here. This isn't about Cerberus. The Collectors are abducting our colonists in the Terminus systems, and I think they're working for the Reapers. The Collectors? We hadn't considered that. There's so little data. They've always seemed like a fringe threat. If they're a front for the Reapers, this is big. But even that may not be enough to get the Council off its tail. The others have spent the past two years convincing themselves the Reapers don't exist. I've heard. I tried to get the truth out, but they don't want to see it. It's just easier for them to accept Sovereign as a Geth warship. Why? Why is that easier? I don't understand. You're just leaving the door open for it to happen again. You have to talk about it. The, uh, it wasn't the Geth. Like, it was the Reapers, and they even made the home citadel their home base. How is this not being written all over the walls? It's absolutely absurd. What about all the evidence? Are they blind? What about Vigil, the Prothean VI on Ilos? The VI on Ilos shut itself down. You're the only one who spoke to it, just like you and your crew are the only ones who spoke directly to Sovereign. Officially, the existence of the Reapers has been dismissed as a myth spread by Saren to convince the Geth to follow him. This is ridiculous. We both know the truth. But I've spent two years fighting that line, and I don't have much to show for it. So you're saying it's hopeless, per usual, with this entire... Mm. It's not like you to give up, Anderson. I haven't given up. So but I have to be realistic. Even as a counselor, there's only so much I can do. It's up to you to stop the Reaper, Shepard. All I've got is a title if you want it. I can reinstate your Spectre status. I won't win any popularity contests, but they can't really object. Your title was never officially rescinded when you died. Besides, you're still a hero to humanity, and the Council knows the danger of discounting our opinion. I want to be reinstated as a Spectre. I mean, even though the council never really acknowledged us and they're still not acknowledging anything that's important, I I valued my Spectre title and yes, I would like it back. Thank you. I'll take whatever asset I can get, old friend. Coming from you, it's as good as the first time. Not quite the same level of ceremony and more symbolic than useful, Crazy. but it still has weight in some quarters. The rest is up to you. I'll keep the Council and the Alliance off your back. Shouldn't be too hard if you're operating out in the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard. What are you doing here? I'm visiting an old friend. Not you. <laughs> Traitor. Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. I hope you didn't do anything foolish, Counselor. Like try to arrange a meeting with the Council. There could be serious political ramifications. I don't answer to you, Udina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Of course, Counselor. Good day to both of you. Sorry about that. Udina's never gotten over the fact that I got the council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. Uh, why don't you fire him? What do you keep him around for? He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. That's Plus, true. He's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with.
If I ask him how he's been, does that stop the conversation? All right, let's investigate first. <gasps> we can ask about Ashley. What happened to Gunnery Chief Williams after the Normandy was destroyed? Operations Chief Williams is still with the Alliance, but she's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. What about the damage to the Citadel? How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The Keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. What about the remains of Sovereign? I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Yeah. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces have been rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could, but between the keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. It's like absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Like, I'm not surprised, but I also... It's just like another thing that they're missing, that they're not listening about. And it's very frustrating. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. They're here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. Mm. I'm surprised we can't talk to him about what we've been doing or what we've seen um, so far with our time in Cerberus. How have the last couple years treated you? Serving on the council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it. But I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? You should come with me. Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line. That's got to be yours. All right. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. Oh, I know. I definitely know I cannot trust them. <laughs> what are these? Like little, like, they look like you can ride them or something. Galactic news. Oh, he has a news channel in here, too. A source reports that the attack on the human colony of Freedom's Progress is being investigated as a possible terrorist attack by dissidents from former Council races. While no formal statement has been issued, the Council has made formal information requests of the Salarian Special Tasks Group. Interesting. Well, what else do we have to do here? Um, we can find... Dr. Chakwas Brandy, if we visit some more of the stores, it doesn't look like the Citadel is as large as it used to be. And I know that sounds crazy, but like, remember how we used to be able to like walk around and go outside and like go from here to there? It seems like it's very like consolidated now, which I guess is a good thing, but I miss like walking around, being able to walk by the water here and stuff like that. It's just is very nice but let's start with level 26 and kind of like explore from here and maybe we'll find Ooh, maybe we'll find our alcohol here actually wait oh it's a chef 
You ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. Ramen, a delicacy. <laughs> this gladness is a thief, and I want her arrested. Landless. I, I was just walking by. Okay. All right. So, advertisements, rapid transit. Level. I felt her hand go into my pocket. When I checked, my credit chit was gone. I'm sorry. I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit chit. Arrest her. Sounds like I he's did saying not. something else. Just because I'm a quarian. I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan. Just because the Vault Clan need it was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. Hmm. What is the what is your opinion about this? Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni tool can tell the Quarian doesn't have a chit on her. But she could have stashed it to recover later. You know what Quarians are like. <laughs> and she's definitely a vagrant. I'll run her in and see what Bailey wants to do with her. What? What's the Quarian's opinion? You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with C-Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn ship. You look at ships a lot. Maybe it fell. Yeah, maybe it fell when he, like, bumped into you. You ran into each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible the chit fell out of his pocket there? I guess. Sure, all I know is I didn't take it. Do you spend a lot of time with the used ship dealer? Yeah, they've got a lot of nice models. I'd like to buy one and take it back to the fleet, but... It's a great idea. A ship would make a great pilgrimage gift. Yeah. You know about the pilgrimage? No. I traveled with Quarian, who was on hers. I... Wow. I didn't know anyone here would do that for one of us. What's your opinion, Bolus? You say she stole your credit chit? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. Did you leave it at the store? Are you sure you didn't leave your chit at the Serta Foundation? Of course not. You think I'd make a mistake like that? I didn't even buy anything there. That chit stayed in my pocket. I hate how it's called a chit because it sounds a lot like an S word. <laughs> And I can't stop, like, almost giggling to myself. I just finally broke down there. <laughs> uh, because of, he said the, the shit stayed in my pocket and it just, okay. Anyways. That is running into you mean she stole your credit shit. That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. Mm -hmm. You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians, thieves, all of them. Sounds very judgy. All right. Well, I'll look into it. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Ma'am, this is a C-Sec matter. We'll do all we can. All we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of her officers know. Let's go. Be careful out there. Okay. So maybe out front of the... Whatever place they were talking about. Seems Just like there's a lot of... I was told to pick up a new really bad stuff going on here. Refreshing, delicious Chipari sports drink hit the spot right now. So many advertisements and like people talking Look, here. It took and me stuff. a long time to get this refund. It's a Cision Omnigel converter. He said there'd be one waiting for me. Do you have a service order? No, I got the refund, made the exchange, and then he said go to the warehouse. Okay, so what is this area? It's like some sort of like warehouse. Mm, okay. I don't think there's anything in here for us. Yeah, I don't see anything. There's not even anyone to talk to. Let's go see if we can find that credit thing. He probably left it at the store. You sent me here. Come on. Why do I need a service order? Why would you come to 
Uh, certain foundation. Okay, so let's look around the floor and see if we find his card. I don't really see it anywhere. Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation Outlet on Zakara Ward. Um, did you find a credit thing? Also, what is this like endorsement thing? I guess it's giving us a discount on places, which is good, but it's so silly. I couldn't help but notice your prices. They seem a bit steep. With respect, the foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. You know, it would make your services more popular. An endorsement from the woman who defeated Saren. Oh my! You're Shepard, aren't you? I would be glad to give you my employee discount if you would do that for us. It's a deal. Just speak into my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store in the Citadel. No one's gonna I'll believe work us. Our advertising at once. Thank you. Everywhere is our favorite store, <laughs> which honestly does sound like me. All right, let's Good ask day, about citizen. the card. Welcome to the Serta Foundation Outlet on Zakara Ward. Avolus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chip? And not that I saw. He didn't purchase anything. Hmm. If everything's done by catalog, why are you here? Customer service. Returns, exchanges, and the group rates. We also find that sales are better when there is someone to personally interact with. Although I'm not sure why a human company exclusively hires Asari to work their stores. I like because humans are very much hated now. Tell me about your store. The Serta Foundation is a human organization known for its genetic therapy regimens and genetically engineered products. Serta is probably best known for the development of Metagel. Hmm. Okay. Thanks for your time. Come back soon, Shepard. So, ooh, Metagel capacity, 25K. Metagel capacity increased by one for 25K. Holy crap. Life support webbing. Within a wearable framework, the CERT Foundation developed an innovative net of microstimulants and Metagel in order to increase the chances of survival. Increases health by 10%. Why is it 6666 credits? Um, I think I might actually buy this one. I can't justify this price though. 25k? I feel like we're wasting a lot of money. I'm gonna get it. Seems nice. Might as well. Maybe the immunobooster? Anything that's it's like... supposed to help with alien bacteria. Go to the cabin screw on the Normandy to personalize. Okay. Wait, the immunobooster can delay muscle development. Well, I don't see the credit. What if that hurts him? I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store in the Citadel. The oh, Jesus. Say that there are occasional <laughs> motor control side effects. Jake loves to I don't run. actually... What if fall down? Jake is fine, Rebecca. He's a perfectly healthy... All right. She was coming out of the used ship place well let's go to the where's the used ship dealer i don't actually know where that is what's this oh used ship salesman okay so let's look for it here i don't know maybe she did take it there's a volus outside who lost his credit shit did you happen to see him drop it anywhere i don't recall any other vol clan entering my showroom today just that migrant clan girl putting her fingers all over the brochures again. You really don't like her. Well, she said that she was coming this way. And that she went over here. And... Yeah, I have no idea. What can I get you? No idea how we would clear her name. Sorry, sir, but I only read one credit check, and it's registered to her. She must have hacked it. You know her kind. They're all hackers. Sir, most interstellar crime syndicates can't hack UBS credit checks. Yeah, I have no idea. 
I really want to figure it out, but... Alliance military officials are having difficulty meeting hiring quotas, according to a new report. Since Eden Prime, an initial surge in patriotic enlistments was followed by a downturn, as the public became skeptical that the Alliance can match Geth technology. Um, Saronis applications. All right, so let's see what's in here. Welcome to Saronis applications. Oh, can I just do Ah, Shepard! Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. Oh, I can do the bad one? Interesting. You should give me a discount. You know, I'm on a very important mission right now. I don't doubt it. The savior of the Citadel would get nothing less. And the problem is the damn bureaucrats. They won't get me the latest astrographic data. You can't save the galaxy with star charts from 2183, right? 2183? Why don't they just give you a slide rule and ask you to eyeball it? Exactly. That's why I need a reliable supplier who can sell me updates at wholesale. Wholesale? Of course, Shepard. Anything I can do to bring the fight to the Geth. You've got it. Wow, that went well. Oh, we got some Renegade for that. Interesting. Ah, my favorite customer. <laughs> what can I get you? All right, let's ask him about the credit. A Volus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chip? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chip. I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. Found it. Bingo. <laughs> I'd like to buy something. Oh, it's all automated these days. There's a catalog interface over there. Okay. Thanks for your time. I'll be here if you need anything. Well, let's tell him that he left it here and he should stop falsely accusing and being so racist. Maybe that's a start. So what do we get here? Ooh, some upgrades. Oh, geez. These are expensive. 75k. This one's 4,000. Reduces recharge time of your powers by 5%. The Archive Visor uses an efficiency algorithm to balance processing power. For biotic amps and omni tools, a heads up display and voice command software allows users to micromanage the system, reducing the cooldown period between your energy expenditures. Nice. I think I'm going to get this one actually. But the rest of them we cannot afford right now. Squad bonus plus 10% to shields and barriers. Yeah, I don't want to spend all of our money. Um, but we know where to come back for some of our stuff. So which tech module are we supposed to get? All right. I'm excited to tell this guy that he needs to stop being an ass. Found What's your, your card. Um, some. I found Please the card. Move along. You forgot your credit shit at Saranus Applications. The clerk's holding it for you. Oh. Well. The Quarium could have stolen it. I'll close this event report, but I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Oh damn! I missed it because I was. Thank you. I. I wish I could give you something more than words. I need to keep my mouse, my hand on my mouse at all times. I literally missed it. Oh, I'm so mad at myself. I need to keep my mouth. I like have the worst habit of like between things, like kind of going like this or picking up a drink or something like that. I need to stop doing that in this game because that was a very split second where the Paragon thing came on and I, I completely missed my shot. That stinks. CSEC was an ass. What the hell was that CSEC guy's problem? He had no evidence that you did anything wrong. I don't know. Everyone's been like that since I got here. That stinks. That stinks a lot. We got a thousand creds for that, though. Let's go. Okay. Well, that was a fun little side quest that is also very infuriating. There's a lot of, like, really bad stuff going on here now. Where people are just like not nice to anybody kindness has kind of gone out the window i mean people were a little bit skeptical about humans and stuff for a while but and other races like even in mass effect one but it wasn't so severe as it is now captain hannah shepherd has apparently turned down an admiral star and will remain in command of the orizaba the captain deemed her promotion to admiral a political ploy and said that she could best honor her 
her child's legacy by captaining a ship. What? Okay, was this the level that we were on before? Yeah, level 27. So we've already been to the cafe. There's the electronics police. We came up these steps. So let's go see what's like across the room from here and see if we can find Dr. Chocolates' alcohol. There was something else too. I think it was like gimbals or something. Something for our ship that somebody wanted us to buy to upgrade something that was like misfunctioning on our ship. Hmm, there's an alcohol sign, so maybe we're getting close. Rodam Expeditions. What's this place? Human. Human? Give me a discount. I understand you sell hunting supplies. I'm interested. Why would human scavengers need guns? They only strike when their prey is weak. Like that time the Citadel was attacked by Geth and you killed the Council. As I recall, you had a fleet here to protect the Council. Sovereign blew right through them. Too bad your admirals didn't ask us for help sooner. At least you've got us here to protect you now. What are you saying? I'm saying that you're gonna help me by selling these weapons at cost. Because you know humans are the best defense this place has right now. Fine. You've got it. Now buy something and get out. Pleasure doing business with you. Go oh, to he... Ooh. Wow. Okay. Human? <sighs> I thought weapons were restricted on the Citadel now. Thanks to your kind. We store off-site and deliver directly to ships. Customers never touch a gun while they're on the Citadel. Make as many laws as you like, human. We'll always find loopholes. Tell me about your services. I sell guns. I don't think humans need any more than they already have. I'll be going. Let the door hit you on the way out. He is an ass. Holy. All right. Well, looks like he has some... He sells guns and stuff here. Aegis Vest increases health by 5%. I wonder if it actually looks like that on us. Casa's fabrication line of elite personal protection equipment includes a series of interlocking ceramic plates covered in a proprietary tungsten alloy weave for maximum stopping power. Hmm. Nice. Um, it does look like they have some, like, sniper rifle stuff here, too. The M29 incisor sniper rifle. Um, a new wave of military and police sniper rifles designed to overload active defenses such as shields, firing three shots with an, ugh, a three-round burst. Nope, sorry. I don't care how nice it is, I cannot do three-round bursts. Absolutely not. Um, we could increase, oh, 50k. Improve sniper rifles for your entire squad. That's nice, but holy, that is expensive. We're gonna have to make some money and then come back here for sure. I think all of these are like 50k. Offhand ammo pack increases spare ammo capacity by 10%. I will get that. That one's cheap enough that I can get it. And I think I might get this vest as well. The little things that are like kinda not as expensive, I'm just gonna go ahead and get. Power damage, shield strength. Um, I think I might do shields. Yeah, I think I might do the shield one. Game salesman? Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. Do you have any games you'd like to trade in? You get two credits toward a new <laughs> That's game. cool. They're selling like video games here. That's actually really cool. <laughs> All right. What is this place? Dark Star. What is this? Like a club or something? Sounds like a club.
so Ooh, loud baby. in here. Um, oh, I can't get a discount. Any local news? Hear about anything interesting going on around here? Serve drinks. You want to know what's going on? Check the news. I don't know why humans always ask me that. I want the strongest thing you have. Easy enough. This is... it's green. And guaranteed to knock you on your ass. Unless you're Dextro DNA like me. If you are, it'll kill you. Anything else? Can we get drunk? <laughs> I'm done for now. Okay. You know, you change your mind. Interesting. What's this? Talk to Miranda? Looking for a little R&R, &R, Shepard? It's a nice enough place. A lot nicer than Cora's Den, anyway. Okay, cool. Dancers, dance. Interesting. <laughs> Whoa, she's been down. This is crazy. So let's see if we can purchase Dr. Chakwa's alcohol here. Yep, nice. Got her brandy. Okay, I think that's everything here. It's so loud in here, holy crap. I could like barely even like hear anything in there. It's, it was wit very loud. All right, People there was- hear your story, Shepherd. Oh no, a news reporter. Police have been seen in El Jelani, Western the News. I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a specter. You presented your case very well on camera. Do you have a minute? You made me look bad. I remember you. Once you can try to do another smear job on me. Now, Shepard, you may object to my methods, but we're on the same side. Are we? You're bad, you're news. I just want to give your story its due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to abandon the Destiny Ascension, sacrificing nearly 10,000 lives, including the previous Citadel Council. Don't disrespect the dead? Why is that a renegade? We created an opportunity. It was time for us to find our own path. I'm a spacer, never set foot on Earth until enlisting. But that day, we stood as one people. But what about interspecies relations? We have a new council, new friends. We took a tragic vacuum and created an opportunity. Unless you're saying humanity and our many partner species don't deserve that chance to excel. Don't insult them. It's beneath you. Damn. Commander Shepard, first human specter, hero of the Battle of the Citadel. Check bid. We get it? Great. Bull rushed on my own show. Well, you kind of deserved it, lady. After what you did to us last time, you definitely deserved that kind of um, response. How was, like, don't disrespect the dead a renegade choice, though? I was wondering why that was. I saw the renegade pop up and I was gonna press it, but I decided not to. I decided not to press it. Um, we have very, very slight Renegade. Um, and... Quite a bit of Paragon. I think for this one, I'm gonna try to, like, balance it out. I just choose to be more of, like, a Paragon-heavy character. Not on purpose, but, um, as you guys can probably tell, when I play, I'm just choosing the reactions that I think flow well and that I actually want to say in that moment. I'm not really out here trying to be like 100% Paragon or 100% Renegade. I just want to enjoy the game and feel immersed in it the best way that I can. So sometimes you'll see me pick answers where I just want to choose the red answer or I just want to choose the blue answer because it sounds right to me in the moment. And that's just how how it is sometimes. It's how it's going to be. 
And I know that there's a certain way to follow prompts and there's a certain way to answer things specifically so that you get the entire picture. But sometimes I'm not gonna choose those answers because I wanna say what I wanna say in that moment. So I do understand how the dialogue works in this game. I've played Mass Effect 1. If you guys have missed it, I have played through all of Mass Effect 1. And a lot of people left in the comments down in Mass Effect 1 also that like, you're picking the wrong answers. You're doing the wrong thing. You're playing the wrong way. But um, no, I'm playing how I wanna play and I'm doing the engagements how I want to do them so that's how it's going to be like a little bit different here I understand that there's a certain form to the dialogue but I'm gonna play how I want to play pretty much I'm gonna say the dialogue as I want to see it as I want to as I want to do it in that moment and there's nothing wrong with that I was gonna see if maybe we could get into this area but I don't think we can all right there was one last place that I think we can go because we need to find the one been years since I've been to the Citadel never changes does it no matter how long you're gone comforting to some people I guess living in denial that all this could end yeah it's very true so let me see if I can find it on here maybe it's in the factory district Collection of storage storage warehouses for Zakira wards. Mm. Where haven't we been yet? There has to be a place to search for like ship parts, right? Game salesman, expeditions. Serona's applications. Maybe we'll find the ship part eventually. Maybe we don't get to find it right now. You know what's good? Alliance Corsair. Dark Star. The battles are pretty realistic, but it's still fun. And you can Alvin. We can't go in there. Okay. So yeah, I think we've pretty much like been everywhere that we can go so far here. I believe. I really want to, I want to check this place real quick though. The docking area. Maybe we missed secure a ward. Yeah, I guess not. Let me look at the map. We've been to Serta. We've been to Seronis. Did we look at what they had at Serta? Yeah, because we bought some stuff from there. We went to the cafe. We went to the souvenirs, Rodam expeditions. Yeah, so I'm not sure where to buy those extra ship parts. The engineer could use T6 FBA couplings to make their maintenance work. Go to, oh, Omega. Okay, so they're not at the Citadel, cool. Okay, well that answers my question. <laughs> So I think we're going to go ahead and, oh yeah, find someone in Zakara Market who knows about the Presidium fish, the lakes and ask them about fish. We could go find some, that person real quick before we leave. Where was it? Zakara's Market? Zakira's market. Let me see if I can find it on the on the fast travel ra rapid transport. The upper section of Zakira Ward. You can find Rodam Expeditions. Maybe it was here. Maybe I missed talking to someone over here. This is a long loading screen. Thought I broke it for a second. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can find someone to ask about fish over here. If not, then I'm just gonna go ahead and head back to the Normandy. 
We already talked to her. We can't talk to them. I don't think there was anyone inside of the... bar area to ask about fish, but Welcome. I could have missed the it. The Zakara Ward Promenade offers upscale shopping and entertainment options for the discerning visitor. Okay. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. No one here. There is just this rude so what guy. Do you think? Maybe a shotgun? I like the assault rifle. It's like a non-stop barrage of death. <laughs> if you can hit anything. <laughs> okay, not over there. Did we check over here? Yeah, the Pretend game credits. salesman. Yeah, the data protection for any game we sell. No one over there. All right. I'm sure we'll be back to the Citadel at three. some point, so maybe we'll find the fish people there. And so let's go ahead and head back to the Normandy. Wow, the Citadel is like wild. It kind of feels like we're just in a completely different like part of the Citadel, which I guess technically we are. It's just set up so differently. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Okay, so let's see if she's correct. Oh, we are. We do. Normandy crash site data received from Admiral Hackett. Commander Shepard, the Alliance was grateful to receive the information you found at the Normandy's crash site, and we've sent it out to the affected families. By finding those dog tags, you have provided peace of mind for a lot of people. I thank you on their behalf. Who's this? Mr. Odina offered to pass on a message for me. I wish to again to thank you for retrieving my wife's body <gasps> from Samesh well nothing can ever banish the loss of losing Narali being able to see that her body was treated properly helped me in more ways than you can imagine I have opened the restaurant that my wife has always wished to start back on earth Narali's picture hangs on the wall and alliance soldiers eat for free it's the least that I can do to honor the courage in which both you and my wife have served for humanity. <gasps> that was like a side quest. Wow, that's really cool. I wonder if we can visit that area. Get some free food, maybe. So we did get um, Kasumi. So let's see what she is. Shadow Strike, Overlord, Flang Bat, Flashbang Grenade, Heavy Pistols, and Submachine Guns. Okay. Um, she seems interesting enough. I don't know. I kind of like her whole vibe going on. We'll have to go do her, like, side mission sometime. That Kasumi is an interesting addition to the crew. I can see why she's good at her work. She never reveals anything meaningful about herself. It's all on the surface. It'll be a challenge getting to know who she really is. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? How's the crew? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. All right, we've already asked her all of these. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. All right. Well, I'm not sure where Kasumi is going to be hanging out, but um, I do want to go check out some stuff real quick. So let's go to the crew quarters. We'll talk to our mess person and also to Dr. Chakwas because we got two of their quests done. Go talk to him first. Commander, those provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Mm. Here, try a bite. Should we eat some from him, knowing what we know about him washing his hands sometimes? <laughs> I told you guys last time we were not going to eat on here, but I feel like it's rude to not at least try it. Okay. Truth told, it's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. Anyway, thanks again. You really came through. 
Okay. I'm glad that you are enjoying your new ingredients. Calamari gumbo. Seems interesting. Let's see if Miranda has anything to add. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. All right, so let's go talk to Dr. Chakwas and give her her brandy. <laughs> How may I help you, Commander? I have your brandy. I have a present for you, Doc. Sarah's ice brandy? You didn't. <laughs> Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now, you and me? Okay. You crack open the bottle. I'll get the glasses. <laughs> I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins' back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, that was awesome. <laughs> oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. Why leave the Alliance? With your service record, you could have gotten a tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad shape. Often they die. And if I can help them, they move on. By the way, they leave. Are you lonely? Don't you have any friends or family? No, not lacking friendship. Just stability. Jeff, Joker will always have Vrolic syndrome. He would never admit it, but he needs my help, and he always will. I wish he weren't, but sadly, it's true. Aww, a toast to Joker, a toast to friends, a toast to the lions, a toast to the fallen. Treating Joker gives you a kind of stability. So does this ship, even if it's a copy. Or, hell, maybe it's you, Shepard. Our removable center. A place for a person to stop and catch her breath. Or maybe I'm just... Happily drunk. Would it hurt if it was simple like that for once? Well, there's our toast. Yep. Here's to simply being happily drunk. <laughs> I'll drink to that. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're actually drunk. Oh, is that Dr. Jacquez? Oh, Jesus. We're like actually a little bit woozy. Oh, this is making me feel strange. How long does this last? Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> is it over? Okay, good. Woo. Hey, we can look at the observation deck. We couldn't look at this before. Oh, look, it's Kasumi. People are talking out there. And I hear it. Well, that's morbid and weird. A rose? The red rose. That used to be my calling card when I first started out. In place of whatever I took, I left a single red rose. It wasn't until I met Keiji that I realized how silly it was. He had a way of making you realize when you were just being sentimental. Interesting. I stole that on a dare, believe it or not. There was a big museum show coming to Ilium. Artifacts from Earth going on tour. Very high security. KG dared me to steal this. So I broke in, hacked the security, put a few guards to sleep, and replaced the piece with a worthless duplicate. They never knew the difference. My first museum job. Nowhere near the last. Interesting. That's my favorite piece. Painted for me by a child prodigy from Elysium. She was the cutest thing. She was kidnapped by slavers who hoped to sell her on Omega. My God. I wasn't about to let that happen. I set up an idea as a buyer's rep to get a special tour of the slaver's vessel. Once aboard, I freed the girl and smuggled her off the ship. She wow. painted that for me on the way home. I'll never forget how it felt to watch her work. 
She painted this after you freed her? Wow, that is really sentimental. Also kind of changed my opinion about her. She, uh, when the rose thing and then this like statue thing, I was like, oh God, she's one of those. But this is actually a really sweet story. Don't laugh, I like those books. Romance novels, crime novels, the classics. There's something about the feel of actual paper in your hands, their musty smell. It's relaxing. KG used to find books for me while on the job. Some of these are more valuable than the objects he was hired to steal. Okay, I like her. I like her a lot, actually. Oh, you can close the shutter? Huh. I like it open. It looks really cool. It's beautiful. Is that like a sleeping pot or something? Poor liquor? <laughs> Wow, we can drink a lot in this game. We've been drinking all day. We've been day drinking at the Citadel. We drank with Dr. Chakwas. We're drinking here now. <laughs> oh, you can mix them together? This is strange. Ooh, we made purple. We are just constantly drinking. Are we okay? <laughs> oh, look, there's another painting. That painting has a special place in my heart. An art collector hired me to steal it. When I got there, the painting was gone. On the way out, I saw it being hauled off by another thief. I chased him down, tackled him, and took the painting. That's how KG and I met. We never did turn it into our employers. <laughs> I usually travel hidden away in cargo bays. It's nice to be able to look out a window for a change. I like her. I think I'm gonna enjoy having Kasumi on our team so far. I really enjoyed that. All right, so let's go back to um, crew quarters. No, let's go back to, where's the elevator? Oh, it's right here our room because we did get that fish and I wonder if they put it in here <gasps> look they're in the tank oh there's a lot of them there's more than one look you can feed them <gasps> this is so cool I wonder if eventually when we find out about the fish at the citadel if we can like catch them maybe and put them in our tank I don't know this is really cool though. All right, any more unread messages or anything like that? Nope. Okay, well, I feel like, oh look, here's the, here's the helmet that we got back from, from the Normandy wreck site. This is really cool how they like give you the ability to collect things and put them in your space. This is actually, I really, really love this. So let's see, we should have different offhand ammo pack, yep. And then we also bought the legs, the life support webbing, um, and the Aegis vest, yep. Which actually looks pretty cool. Doesn't look, mm, I kind of like don't like that, but it'll be better for us to have that on there. Very cool. All right, let's apply those to our suit. And I don't think we got any... Oh, Liara, I don't think we got anything else from the Citadel. Wait, those are new, right? Those are the, um... Yeah, the displays that we got from the Citadel. They're in the cabinet now. That's so cool that they let you do this. It looks like there's room for more. I wonder how we get more. All right, everyone, that's it for today. I'm sorry that today wasn't more like action packed, but we got a ton of lore that I am just like still kind of trying to, to digest a bit. So we went to the Normandy rec site today, which was a beautiful, very solemn start to today. And then we immediately went on to the Citadel and we found one of our new crew members that I really think that I'm gonna jive well with. I'm not really sure 
how I feel about her being a little bit more quiet and shy and like flying below the radar. I hope that we get to know her um, and form a deeper connection with her as time goes on because I really enjoyed what she had to say about some of the paintings in her room and some of the books and stuff like that. I thought that was a really nice touch. So I'm excited to hopefully maybe get into some more action next time because we have our first mission that I think we should go on and we're definitely going to head to Omega first thing right in the next episode and pick up the scientist to put aboard our ship. We were able to kind of get our crew members situated and Dr. Jockless is happy, our mess sergeant's happy. Things are kind of like falling into place and I feel like this was a really, really cool way to start our adventure in this game. Just kind of like going back, visiting the Normandy, getting our heart in the right place, getting our mind in the right place, talking to Captain Anderson today and figuring out a little bit more about how the council views us right now and a little bit about how the Citadel and the people in the Citadel view us as well. And I think it's very interesting and also extremely infuriating that we are still not being listened to about the Reapers. They just completely shoved the Reapers under the carpet, closed the book on it, and are just blaming it on the Geth, which I think is very infuriating. Without, like, there's no other word for it. I am frustrated. And that's exactly the reason why I let the council go why i didn't try to save them not only did i not know that you could save them and also defeat the sovereign ship at the same time i also kind of just like didn't care at that point i was done with the way that the council treated us i was done with not being listened to there were many many different ways that the council could have listen to us taken our side and things would have moved a lot smoother in mass effect one and so I feel like things are very much the same in this game with the council, seeing as how even Captain Anderson, he's like, I feel like I'm bashing my head against the wall. I feel like I'm constantly just like not being listened to. And it's sad to see that no matter what, it stayed the same. Even with a more human built council, it stayed the same. There are people that are not listening to us. There's red tape everywhere and it's very very similar of like uh i'm not seeing i'm not feeling seen or heard or anything like that at all in this game so it's already off to a little bit of a frustrating start but we know what we're in here for we're here to save humanity we're working with cerberus yes but it seems as though their values are very similar to ours at this point in time so i am I'm getting very excited to learn more and get into the juicier bits of this game. I am very excited and we've got our heart in the right place. We've got our mind in the right place. We're ready to go and get our crew members. We've already met one of them and I'm very excited. I'm looking forward to the next adventure in here because I know we're finally going to be able to do some more pew pew stuff. We got some really important armor pieces already. So I think today was a great episode to kind of set us up for success in the next coming episodes. And I hope you enjoyed today's more lore filled episode because I definitely did. And I feel like I feel like we're in a very good place to start off with some more action packed episodes uh, coming up soon. So thank you guys so much for hanging out here today. I look forward to the next one and I will see you guys then. Bye, everyone.